It's midsummer now on the farm. And what that means for me is that there is plenty of time each day to go out, to hunt around, to be inspired, and to gather up all of the offerings from the garden. Though the potager gardens are full of all different types of flowers and herbs and vegetables, right now when you're walking through, there is one thing in particular that stands out among the rest because of its fragrance and because of the presence that it kind of commands. When you walk by it, you know you're walking by something special. It's not the cosmos, it's not the borage, though lovely as they are. Past the rhubarb, keep on going a little bit further, even past the chamomile, and those beautiful coral cosmos that I just cannot get enough of. It's not the thistles. <laughs> we have more flowers than I thought. Ah, there it is. Perfect. The French and English lavender. That is what I'm talking about. The fragrance is intoxicating. It's beautiful. It's the most beloved plant by the honeybees and the bumblebees and myself. But now that it's in full bloom, it's time to gather it up and tuck it away inside for the winter ahead so that we can remember this fragrance through the coldest of winter days. This is a task that, of course, must be done in the early morning or the late night because the bumblebees and honeybees are so prolific on the flowers in the garden this time of year. So in order to go in and harvest anything, even for a bouquet, you often need to tuck out before the bees are awake. It seems like the bumblebees this year are extra active. We've had quite a few friends visiting our garden as of late, and I am always eager to see them because they're roughly the size of a small hummingbird and incredibly loud as they buzz around, but they make the flowers flop and you can always tell where they are, even though they're graceful in their own way. Um, they sort of clunk around the garden and putz through the lavender and quite easy to spot, but quite entertaining to watch. So you know me, I never travel anywhere in the summer without a basket. And 
Today I have a mind to gather up these bundles of lavender and tie them up and store them in this basket in the living room simply because I love to look at the lavender and I love to smell it. <laughs> Though I've gotten quite used to having lavender oil in my diffuser, so I must say the dried lavender isn't quite as potent as I once thought it was. But even still, having the bouquets around bring a bit of the reminder of life in winter. And so we gather them up and tie them up with twine and as hard as this is to do and thinking I'm taking away the, bum the bumblebees food, though truth be told they have plenty to eat here in this garden, this lavender will actually re-bloom again in the fall if I cut it all the way back right now. So it's a bit of a tough love harvesting the food now, taking it indoors and allowing the plants to regrow again will actually provide the bumblebees with an additional harvest come fall. I think there are some things in life worth doing just because they're beautiful. And even though dried lavender certainly has a practical element to it to be used for perfume or in teas, the beauty of a lavender bouquet almost makes it worth it despite all of that. I would crouch down and gather up these flowers and bundle them up and store them indoors just to look at them, even if they brought nothing else to the table. I think that's a good thing, surrounding yourself with something beautiful, purely for the sake of beauty. It just so happens on this particular Saturday morning that I have a giant chunk of Jersey butter from CC and I have this fresh lavender at hand. And basically because Stuart bagged me, I decided to make some shortbreads to enjoy with our espresso. If you've never cooked with lavender, it is a delicious flavor to add into shortbreads, into cakes, into ice creams. Look at that butter color. My, my, my.
even on the hottest of summer days. A nice hot espresso still really hits the spot. As much as I enjoyed the shortbread and coffee break, it's time to get back to work, as always on the farm. <laughs> 